What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jessica Dick back with another video. Now today, um, this is a bit of a different video. Um, this isn't an easy video for, the, for me to actually make. Um, and I've spent a good amount of time not actually filming any videos or really being on social media as a recent due to what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Now, as you guys see by the title, um, I actually found out some pretty, pretty tough news and as it turns out, I'm actually not the father of who I believe to be my son for the past year, year and a half. Um, if you guys have been updated with my videos and kind of my journey as really a person over the past you know however long then you guys have kind of seen everything um develop you know really becoming i feel like i became a lot more um of a man rather than you know a boy through this entire process of going through the pregnancy and you know being a father or or what i thought was you know preparing myself to be a father for my son that was coming to the world um, now I just, I just want to get this out the way and this has really been the reason why I haven't been posting, why I haven't been on social media and why I just, I, I've been hurting y'all. I've really been hurting lately due to this, but I'm, I'm just going to show you guys the actual paternity test. Um, so you can see it. I went and got a paternity test because as of recently, um, you know, Sapphire, who I thought was my son, I love him and it's been crazy to see him grow up. But just, you know, being, I don't even know how to explain it. The relationship as a whole has been very tough for me because I've went from being a you know a young man who's going into adulthood to being you know a father and not only that but just putting myself in a completely different situation a year ago i wasn't um in a house with kids or a dog or any of that type of stuff i was solely focused on my career and stuff like that and you know a year changes i i get the news that i'm having a kid or i got a kid on the way or that you know the girl that I was I was cooling it with was pregnant and my entire life changed. You know, I went through I went through some pretty pretty tough times because to me pregnancy was one of the scariest things for me. It really was. It was one of them things that I just I didn't that was one thing I didn't want to have happen. I felt like I could handle anything in this world, but just having a kid at, you know, 19, 20 was something that I I wasn't ready for you know I didn't feel like I was ready like you know financially and stuff like that I was ready but mentally I just you know I wanted to wait until I was older but anyways you guys kind of know that but just the relationship as a whole you know being in the house with my my girl and her having her kids there and, and just the entire atmosphere it's not it's not an easy transition. It wasn't an easy transition for me just figuring that stuff out and it's still not perfect. But I had some concerns. I went to her, you know, I talked to her and there was just, we, we had disagreements. And so, you know, I, I really wanted to have a paternity test because I feel like as a man, you know, not only do I want to just make sure and that has nothing to do against her you know, me feeling like I want a paternity test or I want to make sure that my kid is my kid. It has nothing to do with her. It's not a trust issue or something like that. It's more so as a man, just, you know, if I'm going into this and I, and I want to be the best father I can for my son, I just want to confirm it, you know? And even in that, let's just say down the road, something happened and me and his mother don't get along well or something you know i still want to be a part of my son's life i still want to be that 
father. I want to know that I'm the biological father and that I can still have the rights to, you know, see him or, or be there for him regardless of where me and the mother stand, you know, in that situation. And I know this, this, this may sound like, um, I don't, I don't even know the word for it. it. I know this isn't like the happiest video, but I asked her if we could get a paternity test. And at first she was not okay with it at all. She felt like it was because I didn't trust her. Um, you know, she made it seem like something was wrong with me for wanting to just confirm it and make sure that I could still be in my son's life regardless of anything. She felt like I had no faith in our relationship. And you know, it, it hurt me because this is just something as a man that I wanted to do. But we ended up talking um, multiple times and she finally came to the conclusion that, hey, if you want, you want this paternity test, go do it. I guess she was just upset because it was something that I wanted and I kept continuously asking. But we went and got the paternity test on February, February 5th, um, 2021. So this was literally three weeks ago um, or, or two weeks, something in there. But when it got the test done and the results for those paternity tests don't actually show or they, they can't give you the information right away. It's not something that's instant. But I did actually get a letter in the mail and got it right here. And I'm gonna show you guys this, but this is the paternity test right here. Let me see if I can get this to show up. And if not, I'll just put it on the screen. But as you can see right here, we got the test on February 5th. Both me and her should be listed on here, Tracy and Isaiah. Um, and as you can see right here, it says the probability of fraternity was 5.9%. This is very tough to look at for me. Because that, t that tells me that there's only a 5% probability that I'm even his dad. And I have spent so much time trying to create this bond and, and, and you know, I, I've spent so much time literally over the past year since she told me she was pregnant, trying to prepare myself to have a kid, trying to prepare myself for all of this stuff and to be a better man for not only myself but so that i could be a good father towards my son and to find out that i'm only five percent probability of being the father that's not even that's not even a tenth probability that means that i'm this this right here shows that i'm not even really his father and i've spent so much time trying to create this bond with her and and her kids and you know bring everyone into the same household and try to make everything work in a blended family because it's not like it's not like i had a a, a kid with you know a, me and a girl we started dating and we had a kid and it was both our first kid no she's already had kids with another man so this has just been an incredible low for me to try and and i don't want to say low to make it seem like there's anything wrong with you know her or her kids or anything but as somebody who has never had a kid to kind of try to take that on as a man because you want your your son or or whatever because i didn't even know if it was going to be a boy or a girl but to to take that on because you want your son in a healthy household and to try and do what you feel like is best to only find out that you spent the last year and a half doing it for absolutely nothing when you're not you're not even his father it hurts man like it seriously hurts i i, I don't even know how to explain this to y'all being <sighs> changing your entire life around for something and to find out that that thing that you thought isn't even true hurts. 
I've had a lot of stuff happen in my life. I, I've literally, years back, if you guys seen the video on my main channel, I've literally been cheated on with my best friend when I was, when I was young. That hurt. I mean, I can't even express to you how much it hurt me for my friend, my best friend and, and my girlfriend to go behind my back and do something like that. It hurt me. But this hurts way more. To find out that I'm not even the father of the kid that I have literally laid everything down for and, and tried to make myself better for and... You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to explain that, but I'm not trying to... I'm really not trying to get emotional. And my eyes starting to water up. And I apologize. But this is this is what I got back. I got this back in the mail about a week ago. And I haven't told her. I haven't asked her. I haven't done anything. But I wanted to film this not just for myself but to my friends to my family because I have been off social media I have been off everything for a while just trying to get my mind right trying to incorporate myself and, and and be a good figure to not only the kids around me but to the kid that I was going to raise to my son or to who I thought was my son But like I said, I haven't talked to her about this, but I wanted to film this and put it out there because I built this channel or we built this channel as a family because I believe that we were a family and I I don't even know. I don't know, man. This is hard. I believe we were a family. That's how this channel was set up and I've and I feel like if it's going to go away, if, if this isn't, if he's not my son, and th that's what the paternity test shows. 5%, 5%, man. If he's not my son, then we're not a family. You, like, I don't know how to express this to y'all. There's a lot of sacrifices I have made personally due to this pregnancy and and having a kid and all that type of stuff there's a lot of stuff i've sacrificed there's a lot of time i've spent dedicated more towards creating relationships and bonds and all that type of stuff and and, and trying to create a bond a better bond between me and me and my girl because that's the mother of my son and just trying to do what's right only to find this out I'm extremely hurt and I apologize to you guys that I have taken so much time off of social media but you just have to understand that I've been extremely hurt like I don't know if you guys have seen it in the in the videos or whatever I have posted when I have posted that I just look tired I look hurt and it's because I am I'm extremely hurt But either way, I wanted to film actually talking to her, showing her this, and seeing what she has to say about it. And I, I want it, I want it all on camera because the, if this, ch if this channel, these videos, all this is supposed to be a family, and we're not, and I've been lied to the entire time, then there's no point. There's no point and me carrying on this channel. I have my own channel. I have stuff I can post on my channel. I have all that, but I've set all that stuff to the side due to the fact that I thought I was going to be a father and you know have to and, and raise and raise my son. So, I'm going to go right now and talk to her my my chest is really heavy like i don't even know how to bring this up i don't know how to how I'm, I, I don't even know i think i'm just gonna show her hit show her it and ask her you know have you lied to me or 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 what because if if i was the okay this let me just explain this 
as far as I know from what I've researched, if I was the father, this would have to be above at least 50%. And normally when you're the father and it's confirmed, this says 99.7 or something like that. That's what I read on the internet. A 5% chance that you're the father basically means that there is some DNA that was was found, but it's not even a fraction of the other DNA that was found in in Sapphire. Could could y'all imagine this? The first time you supposedly having a kid, you find out that you not even the probability of you being the father isn't even a tenth. And you set everything aside. Anyways, I'm not going to get into it. I I need answers. And this channel was built as a family thing. So I just want to ask her I want to see what she says. I'm not looking for likes. I'm not looking for subscribers. I'm not looking for any of that stuff. I'm just hurt and I want answers. So I'm going to go at, I'm going to go ask her, show her this and see what she says. And then, yeah, but I'll catch you guys whenever I get back to the house. And I had to film this away from the house because once again, I've made sacrifices. We all live together now. I lived in my own place before all of this. I, I lived separately before all of this. And we live together now. And I found this information out. And it's just, it's a lot, man. It's a freaking lot. But I'm going to go back to the crib and ask her right now. I just, I kind of wanted to give some explanation before I do this. So, let's go. All right.